بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين اللهم انفعني بما علمتني وعلمني بما ينفعني وزدني علما إنك العليم الحكيم اللهم أخرجنا من ظلمات الوهم وأكرمنا بنور الفهم وافتع علينا بمعرفة العلم وسحل أخلاقنا بالحلم اللهم ارزقني نعمة الإخلاص لوجهك الكريم بكل ما أقول وبكل ما أفعل آمين يا رب العالمين. My topic today is a short talk about typhlitis. Typhlitis or other names called cicitis or also called neutropenic colitis. It is a necrotizing inflammatory condition that typically involves cecum and sometimes it is involved with extension to the ascending colon and terminal ileum. The flight is first described in children with leukemia with severe neutropenia and with a neutral field count less than 1,000 per microliter. It is most commonly occurs in immune-compromised patient, chemotherapy steroid patient, including leukemia, most common lymphoma, aplastic anemia, AIDS, and solid organ transplant. Clinically, the patient is presented with a mixture of localized and systemic symptoms, including fever, chills, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, abdominal pain, tenderness, and distended abdomen. Peritoneal irritation with bloody stool may be present. Pain in the right lower quadrant may mimic appendicitis. Here, a 50 years old male patient treated with leukemia presented with right sided abdominal pain. And this is an example of taphlitis, as we see here. See here the condition involving the cecum and ascending colon. And you see the bowel wall thickening, edema, and pericolonic or colic stranding and thickening of the adjacent fascia. As we see also here, the patient has a splenomegaly. And uh, this is classic example of neutropenic taphlitis in patient with leukemia, treated leukemia. And the imaging modality is CT scan. And there is a high risk of perforation during colonoscope or barium enema. CT in general, shows thickening of the cecum, as we see here. Cecum may extend to the ascending colon or terminal ileum, associated with the fat stranding and thickening of the overlying fascia or peritoneum. Sometimes we have a pneumatosis intestinalis and ileus. Small bowel obstruction, feature of small bowel obstruction also may be seen. And intramural areas of low attenuation or high attenuation may be seen due to also hemorrhage. Thank you for listening and hoping to see you soon in another talk. 
سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت أستغفرك وأتوب إليك